Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our Legendary Telltale campaign. We picked things up for episode 7 from turn 11 in the spring season of 202. So we ended last episode as we wiped out Nobe's faction. We don't know where they will go. Um, they will probably show up in recruitment pools starting next turn. If there is some sort of event, maybe we'll see that next turn as well. Uh, but right now we have wiped them. So this army is going to go north because we did get missions. Uh, the ruler of the East Sea, Donghai, right? Donghai would be um, the East Sea, obviously, given China's location would be over here. And they want us to control uh, Longya. So basically, we want to go up here, we want to go up here. And speaking of Longya, uh, aside from being a commandery, it was also one of the eight princedoms that existed during the Eastern Han Dynasty. And Liu Rong was the prince of Longya, who has deceased by now. He has a son that took over. Um, I don't remember his son's name off the top of my head. But what we do know is that Liu Rong's clan, uh, his family in particular, was very close to Cao Cao's family. And was actually where Cao Cao's father went to go uh, retire to live with uh, Liu Rong's clan. So we're going to get it back. And it's the only princedom that Cao Cao would keep. So he would eventually abolish the princedom system. Uh, that was given out to all the Liu clan members as he takes control of the Han court. But because of how close Liu Rong's family is to his, he kept them as the only princedom down the line. Um, as of right now, Longya is being held by one of our vassals, just a piece of it. We will probably likely give up both of the other pieces to Zhangzi as well, um, just like how we're going to trade away this fishing port. So we could obviously extract as much money as possible from this but given the value here we can only get about 120 by rushing it down there's really no point uh, keeping it doesn't help us by much we get five food and we get you know a little bit of prestige a little bit of upkeep uh, that will go against us the prestige is good um, I I'm debating whether we want to get to king or not in my mind I like the seven points we'll get when we get the prestige point so that we can get more administrators get more spies thus more schemes but the thing is once we hit king we become emperor because we're not a governor faction so then our emperor has to either be restored which is kind of what I want to do uh, or we have to you know banish him and I don't want to reach that point yet because I prefer to keep this intrigue system on a little bit longer because I'm I'm enjoying it it's actually becoming slightly challenging in terms of trade-off right now because we had to spend a bit to get uh, Shijal to join us so like this term we would definitely uh, boost ourselves real quick just to keep us afloat here get those faction-wide bonuses going again uh, start building it back up you can see that oh that is very interesting in terms of the political maneuvering points because it took a 10 point swing right it was negative five but somehow when we spent five right that math i don't get i don't understand that math but anyways um we're happy to bounce back up all right we're gonna move that army out which we did we're gonna trade them over that's why we set up the vassal one turn before so that we can get some value uh, by trading this to him he's not gonna be terribly rich uh, i prefer to keep him you know positive relationship with us so i'm probably gonna let him have 15 points i believe diplomacy is still breaking down those key point values five points 15 points and so forth so let's see Okay, maybe cash. Oh, he didn't spend much. Wait, how does he have so much cash? Did we give him cash? No, we didn't. How did in one turn he have so much cash? What did he do? Sell his soul? Anyways. He's not going to be generous. I doubt I can even get 1,000 from... Oh, oh wow. I'm very happy to be mistaken here. Okay, not that generous. Maybe like like this degree of generosity. Okay, I mean, that helps. And we get 50 points of relationship boost. And I believe our economy will improve because we got rid of upkeep, we lowered corruption, and we got more vassal income from him. Potentially. Potentially he will make more. I don't know what his exactly economy status is right now. But his economy looks 
decent. I don't know how he got so much money. Um, yeah, we could actually, we should have probably set sail. Actually, no, we want replenishment, right? So we'll take the long route over here uh, through the roads, please. You guys getting through long ass lumberyard would be a little bit tricky. I, I prefer to stay on the road. Let's do that. Um, we can withhold against. We can, yeah, there's there's no way we can't hold this. We're totally healthy. We can play delegate a win. They only have one general. Yeah, this is no problem. In the north here, they're just begging us to attack them, which is a problem because I can't. I don't want to lose favor. That's the problem. Like I can crush both of their armies real quick. Shuyo's extraction here is questionable as well. Assassination? No. Improve relations? Yes. And I believe this times out next turn, so we can use that again uh, uh, very soon. We can probably do it now. I wonder if it refreshes. Yeah, well, let's experiment. Nope, it doesn't refresh, so we just wasted it. Uh, that's why we experiment. Yeah, apparently we can do some work on stepmom, see if she's willing to betray. I'm not interested in keeping any of these generals. Technically, we can strip him both of the sun and shield this turn and just destroy the army without them in it. Although it'd be kind of fun to see him turn on the battlefield. But against... Oh, that's the mom. We can kill her here. I still want this city for the mission. Like right now we have two more armies of them. So basically we do want to fight both of these. We finish this mission. We get money. Uh, we want to capture Ye uh, Yet right here. So that's also another mission. Become Emperor. We're trying to delay that. And then we're trying to finish this one too. Alright, so with that said, I also am curious what our count, uh, council will have different missions for us. Because we took a look before we ended the last episode, and I wasn't particularly uh, fond of all the ones we saw. So I want him to be just maybe a Simon character. I don't think Valon's going to see much action. I mean, historically he didn't make, you know, any big splashes on the battlefield. Romance gave him a very cool job of, you know, coughing up blood in front of Zhuge Liang. But uh, that is only romance. Yeah, he also doesn't have a special ability, but we'll still give him Unbreakable. It's very useful. Alright, let's visit them again. Any good ideas, guys? New character, industry, that's still the same. Okay, so these are still the same. These two, I think, switch places, and maybe we got a new location here, but still the same stuff, same army. Same target here, same target here. This is also the same. Okay, so we want to make more changes. I don't want those. I want to see some new ones. Maybe let's do a battle and see what happens. I think we want this army to have movement after the battle. So we're going to have them go here. And then we're going to have Sahodun launch the assault. I am going to refuse the extraction as reinforcement. I don't even want to extract him. Because I want him to stay heir. I want to see the potential for the assassination. We don't extract. And we simply knock him out. This is not worth fighting. It's him by himself with resiliency. 2% capture chance. All the units are injured. It's a good night. One man's song, no all right, that was pretty simple. Only two points lost. Very nice to see. But he should still have uh, not enough movement. A bit unfortunate. Xu Huang ranked up. He does not have the tenacity of steel. He's really a vanguard. That's how you should see him. Oh, he doesn't need this anymore. When did I give him that? Wait, attending secretary? Oh, oh, actually no, that's the that's the um, administrator industry boost. But he just still needs that. I was thinking like orator or something. Yeah, that's the industry boost. But he still needs that. 
uh, Hedong. Yeah, speaking of these, you can pick up more commerce because there's an inn and a trade port in Hedong. Changle Palace, Eternal Happiness, Changle. All right, his skill. We're gonna abandon that one. He is administrator, so we're just gonna go down the ruin tree here and just go with that. The roar is really good. It's good enough. Night battle roar. There we go. Boost our income, and then we're probably gonna head over here for some more speed accelerations. So basically, he's a vanguard. Like speed, charge, roar. Yeah. Um, unfortunately he doesn't have reach. That would be most helpful. I was hoping they could reach that. Right, get back near the road. Of course we can scheme, right? We do have that scheme available, but I don't really see a reason to rush the movement and use up that scheme for just this small gain here. Alright, he's the administrator. He's general of the left. It doesn't look like Guan is leaving us. I'm trying to find someone to use the bow. Maybe Guojia. But Guojia is Prime Minister, so he would, like, other items would serve him better. But we currently don't have other items. Yeah, but Bo still feels kind of extra on him. Alright, we have the movement. Guotu. Yeah, since we are using you and since you are in this army here. We're gonna deck you out. He actually has flaming shot available. I don't know if they can get into reinforcement zone. And we're ignoring the fight in the top. No, I think he's out of it. Uh, then we have to show up fatigued just for that one little step. Oh well. First we siege. Oh, I think I see Gunny on the field. We can also... I mean, this is farm, right? So it's open field regardless. It looks like they're going to attrition, which means they're going to have to come out and fight us. So they will be attacked. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter because this is the old turbans. I'm thinking about, you know, Imperial um, Intrigue. I'll continue to starve him out. Because then I can change him to not fatigue next turn if he doesn't come out. I think I got a peak of gunning. Yep. Through the river trade. See these trade little boats? We get vision here. Liu Bell has standing. Do I have a empty spy position? I thought one. He's coming back. So once he come back, we can see another character. Maybe turn coat some of them. All right, so maybe this is on hold. I mean, we can fight it. Just kind of don't want to. Are you guys gonna run? They're not running. I could extract him, and that will free up a slot. Right, because we are not making any more moves in the factions. We might as well pay a thousand for some fun effects of having him defect on the battlefield. Pick up this Xionu heavy cavalry, a noble cavalry. Uh, all these warriors of yet on him kind of wasted. I mean, Xiu is not a good person. Hmm. And then he kind of, you know, was very proud of the fact that he helped Cao Cao win and that he knew Cao Cao when he was young, so he became arrogant, and then, you know, that's what ended did him in, but... We might have another way of doing him in. Oh, and they ran. What? You can do that? You can... I mean, that means this group gets wiped. Hold on, before we jump in there, we got this empty slot. Anyone? Ah, oh, no one. That's so disappointing. I was so excited to see some spies from other factions. Alright, this is not a fair fight. She does have quite a nice unit here. Like, this retinue is nice. The low capture rate is probably because Guan is honorable, which means we probably shouldn't have him lead if we want to capture. But then again, we're already here. And it's not like anyone has perceptive or patience. Actually, question mark. We still have movement. 
He's not going anywhere. It's a it's a wipe. So she has resiliency, I believe. Yes. Yeah, so she won't die. But I just want to know. No patience. No patience. No patience. What about you, Suyo? I'm gonna take all your stuff. He has resiliency, so it's it's not easy for him to die. I'm, I'm thinking of ways to kill him on the battlefield. He's not great. Alright. Um, I'm gonna put Yu Jin as command for this one. Just to increase the 15%. You see he's 25, the honorable goes away. They're both the same level. Like the level of the character matters. Uh, determines the base value, the type of victory matters, and uh, if you have any traits or skills on top of that matters. So in this case, we're just going to fight this because I want to see their faces. But actually, they're not going to have any expressions, but I do want to see Suyo show up on the battlefield as a traitor. Alrighty, of course it rains. Um, reinforcements coming in. We have siege weapons, so they will come at us. We're gonna let them come at us. I want to spend some time taking a look at some of the units, especially comparing our Tiger Cub versus the Xionu Noble Cavalry. I know they're probably not the same tier of units. The Noble Cavalry should be a higher tier, but still, I kind of want to know how they kind of compare with each other. Um, enemies have range units? Question mark. Archer militias. Okay, those those are just pitiful. Um, so, like, do I need formations? Technically, it doesn't hurt, right? We put them in the front at 95% range block chance, let the archer shoot them first. Um, I'm gonna put this guy in the center here. They don't have cavalry, if I recall. Oh, they have one cavalry, if I recall. One, one single cavalry. Right here, right behind, right there. Yep. Um, so that means technically we should protect our flanks. I don't know if he has charge negation on the units. I don't think he does. He doesn't have that skill yet. Uh, so these flanks are poorly protected. Here, let's swap. Because I see the cavalry right now on this side. Uh, if we can get some duels going, I will take that. But in the meantime, I want you to go over here, meet up with your other buddy. And I want to know how you guys compare. Hello, traitor. Show up over here. Show your face. Bring these warriors of Yet to Yet. We'll bring them there. Um, this is going to be very hard to bring to any location that's useful. Maybe here. Now, you two. The real reason why we're here. So, Sunu Cavalry, 45% armor. 62 speed. Uh, has to do with the general as well, but I don't think he has mobility either, so 75 speed. So they're one tier higher. 75, 62, 45, 26, 38, 24. I know I can just do the compare. Um, pretty much the same morale. Who has more health? Oh, Tiger Cub has more health. Oh, but they're not a full unit. Right, right. So the missing health is because they're missing two units. So they're same health, 50k each. Tiger Cup's faster attack, more base. Ooh, Noble has way more attack power though. 29, 22. Evasion. Uh, way more charge as well. So yeah, these guys are better, for sure. I mean, it makes sense. They're supposed to be the slightly heavier variant. Here they come. Any chance? They want to give us experience? Ooh, she does. I know we want to capture her, but we know she has resiliency, so... God of War, right out. Does she have any abilities? Okay, just a shutdown skill ability, no big deal. She has armor up, okay. Alright, we can still pull her to a favorable location by doing something up. Something like this. And then... I believe it will finish the... No. No, 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 That wouldn't. It will have to be her challenging us. Here, I don't care about your well-being. Go help shut down her ability as well. Although it's kind of late. I think she would just spam it right in the beginning. Yep. Okay, you can chill.
77% evasion. We'll wait till that goes away before we activate ours. Yeah. Or else you just dodge the ability. There we go. Now this is pretty much over. Alright, what should we do about this cavalry unit? It is melee cav. So... This is uh, this is, like I think this is safe. As we get charge negation in that formation, this is safe. This is the only unit that's not safe. And are they smart enough to hunt this down? I mean, the thing is, we have a general standing in front, so he will like blunt their charge. They are very smart. They're going directly for the unit that doesn't have charge negation. That's why we have a general here. And then immediately we pull the formation, swarm there with the spear, so they don't run anywhere. And then we come over here. He's dead. Faster one, chase the one farther away. What are they doing? Great. Charge out. Wait, didn't we kill her? She has one health? Oh, we gotta see the stab in the face move. I thought she was long dead. So they have high morale. We don't want to linger here. Getting friendly fired. That's the wife. Jen Shao's new wife. What happened to Lady Liu? She never came to our pool, I think, so I don't know what happened to her. Here, shoot that. Let's move away. Use your speed. Pull out of that formation. You're not routing? There we go. He hasn't realized. Like, why you pick up a string of kills on the red hair? That's good enough. Yeah, with that one straight line charge by Guan Yu, he killed like 26 units. Because all he did was duel, right? So he only killed one, and then he ran into a line and killed 26. We only lose three because we got rid of some of the men, so we didn't actually kill that many men. Yeah, we said we will take her in. Look out. I mean, the trait's not great in background trait, but these are okay. Yeah, these are okay. These are fine. Not everyone gets, you know, destroyed by Guan Yu and lives to tell the tale. And we finish this mission. Give us a new one, please. Nope. Sad. Alright, night battle. Probably most essential here. Wait, why can't I pick... This is a bug, isn't this? I can't pick turning the tide. Very interesting. I have to loop around. Alright. Well, oh, you still need to provide the range boost. And we're gonna bring our warriors of Yet to Yet to take the city. Alright, let's revisit our council again. We got something different. We got increased movement of our army because they have no movement. And total movement for the next five turn. Okay. We have the choice of peasantry and industry on the same character. Depleting their supplies. Line of sight. Oh, they are getting bad. These are not cool. I don't want to kill him. He's our spy. Coral. Uh, source of bad ideas. This one's the one. Well, these are terrible. Uh, what actions can I do to refresh it? Is he close enough to get attacked and also get the garrison to help? No. I could attack him like that. Or I can not siege here and just go for it. Because this is... Yeah, sure, we're fatigued. But again, the old turbans. Not going to be too hard.
All right, so this is an iron mine. Um, that part is difficult. If they charge out, things will be better. Or else we definitely want to use the forest here to attack. Alright, they're gonna come in very tired. He will be the duelist. I'll take them out one by one first, demoralize them. It's gonna be a very heavy casualty fight. I mean, Yemen yeah, is top tier with that weapon of his. I mean, compared to them. Not like top tier, top tier in the whole game. I don't think the weapon's like particularly strong, but it's not bad compared to what we're fighting. How do we take this though? It's gonna be a while, he has good evasion on the enemy side. I could run a group of cavalry in, being led by him. He would have decent range block chance. And uh, we would probably be... Who has roars? Uh, he has a roar. He has the splash. He has the roar. Hmm. Oh, go help. Oh, well, good job. We'll help with the next duel. No, no formations in this army, so they can't turtle, which makes them kind of re like pointless. I'm gonna summon all the cavalry, call them two, run them over here. Ow, ow. Let me do again. Let me move to the edge. Again, so we can maximize our distance a little bit here. Keep moving. There we go. We'll speed it up. All right, we're moving all the cavalry that way. We're still waiting for the infantry to get into position. We have one white horse raider. Go go go. Oh, we knocked her off again. Good. Now your job's good. Come back. Oh, look at their response. AI on top of it. It's okay. I mean... I'm not expecting this to be an easy assault. Get in the forest. He's still gonna be Yen out here. His roar is probably going to cut open the door for us. He will lead the cavalry, of course. There we go. Oh, we got an angry... You sure about this, my friend? Oh, he splashed us hard. Alright, pull him out. He's a burn officer. I don't want him to die. 
动作快点，时机已至，杀光敌军，做好准备。Maybe、we can now that actually help the men of us. We probably should have put him back in. Oh, do you want to do us? Uh, not us. Right, you're the daring infantry, right? We're gonna pretend they're a unit called Xian Deng Si Shi, which is uh, this, you know,、um, basically death row units. They have a chance to kind of redeem themselves. They have decent charge, I remember correctly. Yeah. Everyone murder him. There we go. You think you can come here and avenge your brethren? All right, we need your roar in the front line. Boost, charge. Oh no no no! You <laughs> keep going, keep going. Get it, Wenchuo. Oh, this is painful. A lot of range counterattack. Yeah, it doesn't matter who falls. I want the roar, and then we're coming straight for it. You're joining too. Charge in. Do a splash. You'll live. Yeah, right in the middle. There we go. Charge in. Actually, you guys came here first. Charge. Wait, they're chasing a routed unit. No, got tricked. Right, the rest of this is simple now. All their archers are exposed from behind. Come on! Don't get dragged behind. Keep pulling, keep pulling. Don't get dragged here by the spear fight. There we go. Now they're routing. Are、right, you turn around? Take care of the spear units. They broke through. Keep breaking through. Oh my God! Actually, clear this part. Everyone ran out of this side already. We still on horse. Infantry, stop that! We still on horse. Come over here. Come over here. Guys, take care of them. There we go. They broke through here. Yeah, there's a unit of cavalry over there. Actually, you two who are dismounted, fight this. We lost the white horse fellow. Now 
顽强不屈。你太弱了，梦想云端，准备开战。敌军四散而逃，到底是无胆鼠辈。They bounce back outside, pull a couple of them back. 挺住！进攻 ！It's over. Not too bad. We we did lose one unit. And I think it's mostly because the unit that we were charging at got routed, so they ran to the side and then end up having our cavalry get shot for longer because I wasn't looking. Ooh, got a nice horse. Uh, we will be taking the Occupy. Wonderful. Level three. That's not bad. Okay, so at this point. So Hu Yuan is gonna go somewhere else. Hmm. How do we want to set up things historically? Well, technically, we attack Liu Bao next, historically speaking.、Um, but right now, that's because Sun Ce got assassinated in May of 200. In this case, he's not dead. So maybe it's Sun Ce first, and passive Liu Bao can be just kept to the side. We would want to summon. You know Zhang Liao's army. If we ever want to fight, you know the Sun Clan, we're max army. We gotta get rid of some units on the map.、Uh, Xu Yu is taking up a slot, so we do want to get rid of him. But mainly after maybe we finish off Ye, and then they need to fight Shang Dang. Over here, they're done. These these guys are done. So what we can do here is I'm gonna summon this army back. We have 75% redeployment, so the expense here is not that bad in terms of resummoning them. And plus, Sa Houyuan historically goes west. That's his job, so we're gonna do that with him as well.、Uh, we're gonna put Sa Houyuan together with Zhang He. Okay, so that's good. Let's go set up our defenses here. We're gonna have Zhang Liao set up an army with some buddies. Zhang Liao and Zhao Yun. Well, speaking of buddies, if Guan Yu never leaves us, these two would be close together. So I guess we can put Guan Yu on the southern front. So we're going to do an army here to take Li Shu, who is a vassal to Sun Ce. So that's going to be a war to take Hefei. You know, there's really no better person to take Hefei than Zhang Liao. And then we'll have our main army. Anyone would reach? Not yet. How close are you? Very close. Okay, maybe he should get one duel. You know, he shouldn't just always help Cao Cao out,、um, just so that he can rank up. Because we already got him to seven, which was the goal. Okay, so we don't need to change anyone here. Oh, I can give him a better horse. There you go. Yeah. So their job is to go there. I am actually pretty sure it's better if we sail. Yeah, we'll just change his command next turn. We'll sell there. It's faster. It's way faster. We don't need as much healing. We'll, we'll get a healing this turn, anyways. Let me pick up a reform, and then we'll do faction council. Hopefully, they change for the better. I'm still pretty sure I want to go this route and get Onyx Dragons. So I, my choice is get an extra trade, which is probably good because we have a new vassal. I don't know if he used up his trade or not. He might have. He did not. What a good vassal! So we're gonna leave him five points, and I'm gonna ask for like close to a thousand. It's gonna be less. Oh, maybe not less. Maybe like a thousand fifty. Yeah. And now he loves us. Finally, no more alliance means he's willing to do a peace deal. So here's where things will get tricky. If I peace out with him, 
I can vassalize him. No, I can't. That would be a good ending. Unite the good friends. And then we don't have to murder him with his son. But that's probably not possible. He hates us. Right now he just knows he's beat. I still want... Yeah, I gotta fight him one more time. I gotta take Yip, and then we can do the peace. This is definitely on the table. Become vassal. Yeah, Sun Tzu would. If I plan to go to war with, say, these guys, I would start. I would need to wait for these to time out and start canceling them. It'd be like a five-turn transition because, like, it, I think it's perfectly ten turns since the start. Turning eleven, right? So next turn we can start canceling all these deals and then within five turns next spring we can start planning our attack so we'll spend this entire year to set up our army south finish up the war in the north finish up long yap it'll be perfect um so we'll let them fight us again over here they're moving yeah no rush if they want to come out and attack us that'll be even better that way we can play a defensive battle um just a little peek here Nothing has changed. Way too many points. Swap these over. Swap these over. 65, 45. Still coming back. Alright, something good, please. New character. Campaign movement. They yeah, did not refresh very much. Okay, I like this. I don't like these. I don't hate this. Like, there's nothing to hate here. But I don't really like it either, so we're just gonna pass. This I need to double check. New character, I guess. Okay, so... I need to check what my economy looks like. So this is not a great way to check, right? You look at the value, you're like, okay, I have more industry, so I should go industry. Technically, yes, that's good judge. Like that depends on like what the percentage and base value is, because you're only getting the percentage boost. Are we getting it in like faction wide, or are we getting it? Oh, we're getting faction wide. We're killing off 50% commerce for 200% industry. I think it's worth. Like the quick math would be here. You will want to. You want to scan here, right? 600, 500. Yeah, I I think it's no brainer. Like it's gonna overpower. Peasantry pretty much in every commandery like in every commandery. It's gonna be higher Now the question is like losing 50% commerce. What would that equal right? That would be equal whatever our base commerce is I really wish they provided the base value here and the mo like In parentheses or something just show the base industry show the base commerce or the base peasantry It will be so much easier to, to do the math um, We can probably do this as well Given that we're getting plus 10 public water for the next two turns, it'll be still plus four. There's so many ways to gain public waters. But then high public water also means we get more impure intrigue. That's the obey. That's going to time out. Right, so if I boost it to this, what is my impure intrigue from public water? Still 11 points. Yeah, it's not going to drop by too much. If I go like extreme here, do I lose? Uh, it's not refreshed, so I don't know yet. Let's experiment. And. Right. I want new characters. I don't care about that 10% movement. I'm pretty sure industry is better. Construction cost decrease, so we can start building stuff too. Uh, only cost 200. Eh. Fine, we'll, we'll, we'll spend money on him. This is essential. Why not? We have the money. Let's mess him up for six turns. It's only 1,400 for all of those. Alright, we're seeking a character. It might take some time before he is summoned. Wonder who we will get. So right now, we can probably just gauge who the last character is. Uh, this is a character we got from Yuan Shao, so it's not... And then we have a bunch of burn officers. We have a lot of officers who want to come onto the field. I really need that prestige level up. We have one available scheme. Credibility is all-time high. I don't need to gain any. 
Ah, uh, do I need to target anyone? I can improve relationship with one faction for some fun deals. We can even do this on Yuan Shao technically to make a more favorable peace deal. Or we can just beat him down until he gives us a more favorable peace deal. Yeah, I'm gonna save it. Let's continue. Oh, oh, no, no, no. They didn't build it. That 20%. There's a discount. Oh, I think it comes active right away. Oh, most definitely right away. Okay, beautiful. I think it's active for five turns. Yes, five turns. So because it's active for five turns, I don't want to build something five turns. I want to build something four turns. And then on the fifth turn, I still get the discount. And I get it essentially for like a nine turn build project. But actually, that's going to time out. But it doesn't matter. It's still smarter this way. This is good. This is good. I'm not going any taller here. Ah, lots to build here. So private workshop. Even with this, it's still plus six. Okay. I think I'm rich enough to upgrade passes now. So we're going to start boosting our commerce and all these neighboring commanderies. Oh my god, we have six passes? Oh my god, so pricey. <laughs> okay, alright. We're good. I'm bleeding out six pass constructions all right let's continue they attacked us Yuan Shao's army moved out of yet to attack us so she oh either we overspent the money or she doesn't have enough points i think she doesn't have enough points i don't oh we don't have the army limit that's what's holding us back we can still extract her that way we take this unit away and she doesn't fight in the army it's still fun that way we're gonna just extract her and Good luck, boys. You throw a tenfold. Oh, both good guys. Um, yeah, both. He doesn't have resiliency, which is a little tight. I don't know how this is still Pyrrhic victory, though. How do they win this? Let's see. Alrighty. I don't know how they gave them such high delegate value. Did they know it was going to be a foggy day where our tributaries might not be as accurate? Because I didn't know that. Alright. We do have fire arrows. That will help a lot with the new morale system. It would have to be these guys in the front. 95% range block chance, absorbing all the arrows. And then they would sit here. Although I have noticed the enemy cavalry has been very smart. In picking out targets, although I think they're gonna go for tribuches, they just will blindly go for tribuches because they know those things are threatening. We have one flanking unit, and you can be in the center as a reserve. We can activate to see everything for 180 seconds, which should be enough three minutes. Let's go. Well, they're not gonna be in the forest. Start firing. These are low-level tribuches, so they're gonna miss wildly, and we might wildly kill some units. See? Kill three. Kill count's low, but we're killing cavalry here, so good value. All two strategists, no dueling here. This is a cool unit. I quite like the new, um, yeah, Vanguard crossbowman. Hmm, how are we going to deal with this cavalry? 
Their range is longer than our range. I'm gonna have to pull them to this side. Maybe we need to counter charge. I'm gonna send them a little bit farther up so they get shot. So we're gonna change formation to something like this. Because he can take a frontal charge, they can't. So we'll try to use the shield wall to protect them. And meanwhile, let them absorb enemy range fire. Shift them back, go with them. If they, you know, just go after our spearmen here, we'll let them do their thing. If not, we'll counter charge them. Yeah, I'm just trying to punish that unit with our trebuchet. Both of you don't chase. Yeah, they're just tanking shots. They're tanking shots. We have good charge. So once we get close enough where the fire arrow stops shooting... Everyone shoot this one. Charge this one. Charge this one. Great formation. Charge this one. Cavalry's not moving against us, so we're just gonna stay tight. Alright, fire this one. Great formation. Go, go, go. Ooh, that hurts. I didn't want to kill you. Well, you have resiliency. I don't mind killing you. Cavalry? Yeah, the way we set up our formation discourages our cavalry from doing things. Fire over there. Swing out. Get ready to flank. You can probably start swinging out too. Maybe go a little bit this way. Nice. Yeah, the cavalry is just like staring at us. They see the... No, 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 don't chase. That's, that's not your job. Ah, uh, that debuff. Front line's cracking. Guan Yu. Yue Jin, go help. Okay, yeah, this mount is good actually, because you can immediately see he'll clear space with his moves. Lai Bang Wa. Come help me. Come help me. They wedged. Oh, Guan Yu made quick work. I can move them over here, try to shoot these guys a little bit. They probably don't need help anymore at this rate. We've got generals over there. And they should be fine. Saber, tires. Okay, so everything's working kind of against us with the fatigue factor here, but. Do we think this is a frontal attack or a flank attack? Like, would the shield come into play here? How did they lose armor? Here they come! Alright, don't chase, don't chase, pull back. Dear man, form a line, form a line. No, 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 no. Okay, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, get some experience off that. Ignore everything else. Who's still on the horse? Why he's still on the horse? We don't want to kill him. This is the strategist we don't want to kill. Route, please, Tampon. Tampon, leave us. There we go.
Alrighty. We didn't have to lose Imperial Infantry for that battle. And any chance we could capture? We captured both. We're gonna release both. Neither of them want to work for us. That's fine. Thomas is preferred. Alright, so they're joining a war against Huasin to the south. Oh, the son wants autonomy from dad. Both sons want autonomy from dad. Liu Bei and Lady Mi. Oh, she was pregnant when she joined. Ooh. New event. At your behest, the Confucian scholar, along with several of his students, has journeyed to your court. My teachings are my legacy, and the deed of those who succeed me are the measure of my tutelage. I ask that you allow me to match master and disciple, for when both are in harmony, there can be no discord. In discord, chaos follows. Its corrupting miasma infects the hearts of men. Kneeling before you, he presents you the following question. Of the constant virtues, which make one best fit to rule? Yi, righteousness, Ren, humanity, Zhi, wisdom, or Li, uh, proper, Li, oh, Li, proper, proper, I can't say the English word, uh, propriety. Oh, interesting. We get a legendary character, which is, just means they get 100 points of stats. Doesn't mean they're anything special. Well, in classic Confucian thinking, of the choices here, Ren would be the correct answer. So we're going to go with that? I mean, I don't need Sentinels, for sure. I don't really need Vanguards. I have Yan Liang, I have Xia Hou Yuan, I have uh, Du Ji, I have uh, Yun Ye. Strategists, I have a bunch as well. Champions, I have Guan Yu, Wen Chou, Xu Chu. That might be it. And plus, like I said, Ren is the correct choice here. Wait, is this the follow-up event to Guo Jia's uh, from, from the Faction Council? That's kind of cool that you get an event after the council. Chai Ye, local hero. Yeah, just, it's not even, they, they, I mean, okay, so their definition of legendary here is just he has the yellow text name, but he got it not because he has any stat over 100, which is the requirement of getting a yellow text name. Like, you can see that the gold text, the reason why they don't have it is because they don't have a stat over 100. Like, if I give him 11 points of... He will have it next turn. Like, that's the... That's the... That's a cutoff line. Like, here's Xu Yu. Generic art. Over 100. Gold name. But he just given gold name, but he doesn't have the stat to back it up. That's nonsense. Terrible character. Why? Why did we pay for you? Well, the, the salary is because we have discounts, so it's, <clears throat> so it's slightly different. Gao Sheng. Zhang Min. We extracted her. It, she has a grudge because she betrayed them. I mean, nothing special about her except for this unit. Ideally, we try to get her killed to pass this unit on to a commander. Um, maybe it's Haran's unit later on. His writing right now is not great. So we have quite a few things I want to do before we end this episode. First, I want to see, can we murder father? Uh, we can't check until next turn. I want to resolve the war. We fought enough. Oh, he has an armor. Time for peace. No turncoats. Okay. 
That's sad. Um, before we end the war, we want to take this and we want to take this. Let's do that. We'll lose some Imperial Intrigue. Hopefully not too much. Only 700 dead. 4 or 5 points? 4 points. Okay, we're gonna get, you know, the hang of how many points we'll lose as we play a bit more. We're gonna end up recalling some of them. So you're gonna help in this attack. It's probably also gonna be a delegate fight, because they're pretty much wiped. Guan is not gonna lead, because I don't want to lose that 10% capture chance. Alright, so the value is not great, but I think I'm just going to take it. 54% that he will live, 46% that he will just die. We could also give them the Shaman to give him a better shot. I mean, Tenfold... Like, not... Not essential we get him. But it also doesn't hurt to try. So Guo Jia handed it over. Sixty-four percent. Fingers crossed. Oh, it says he's dead. I don't see the capture screen. We tried. Alright, mission complete here. They want us to control Anping, Xingdu. Their capital, basically. So the war can't end just yet. But we did capture the entire Wei Commandery, which is going to give us the name of the Kingdom of Wei later on. Uh, he's stuck here. That's as much movement he has because we hit him with the uh, spy action, not spy action, the council action. And our army here is going to sail. No way. We can vassalize. And John Fay's ours. Uh, annex. And, the vass and, and John Fay's ours. Okay. So obviously, it's not going to do wonders for our. Um, for our trustworthiness, but. I think we can break, not break their rule, but like sacrifice that a little bit. So they don't have a faction yet, judging by the flag. They haven't been recruited by anyone. And by who is still waiting, he's young. I think Guan Yu would want this, right? Yeah, Zhang Fei is in Donghat. He just stayed behind, he didn't even go anywhere. Right, and conquered it. He's like, I'm too lazy to go anywhere. I'm just gonna stay here. Well, we're gonna work on him um, next time. We'll probably do the annex very soon. Probably, I think it's within like a five turn cooldown where we don't lose as much value. I can double check that right now, actually. If we annex, it'll give us the warning, I believe. And if not, it, we don't save this because it's not. Oh, okay. So it's just default. There's no getting rid of this, so we can do it right away. So Zhang Fei is going to join us very soon, and uh, we're going to recreate a vassal here after that, because uh, <laughs> I don't want to keep it. So that's where things stand. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this one, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!